I, I expect this one to be fireworks in the first round. Good reminder of the two minute round surge is away we go. Tsunami went downstairs with a straight right hand. Good shot by Tsunami. You said Estrada can show off that versatility. Try and go with a left jab and a sweeping right. Footwork so key when it comes to great fighters. Nice athleticism right there from Tanisa Estrada. Your former trainer, Sergio Dean Campos, compared her to Diego Corrales with a tough. This is one of the best punches from, from both fighters. To go further, just in terms of style, how important are fans? You know, uh, you box with your hands, you fight with your feet, and what he means by that is, Ooh. in order to get the right punches, the power punches, yeah, she also takes a big shot. That was a clean right hand landed. Estrada did tell. I like to see her throw uppercuts in that southpaw stance. Tsunami, a strong left hand, cut getting started. 20 wins out of the game, she wants 20 more, and right now she's going after Tsunami. Honestly, sir, to go back to your point about Estrada, what are some of the subtle technical elements? And she plans on winning divisions in two, three, four divisions, she said. He says Estrada. Estrada was the first woman to make You can see her, she keeps her elbows open a little bit, so aim for uppercut. I find it a really good third round in applying pressure, but seriously, Tsunami coming forward, landing a big left hand right there. But some shades, what we saw in that last fight, it's Peta against Tanahara, where Bernie, how dare you disagree with <laughs> It won't be the first. You want more of that disagreeable shots right here? You see Sinisa landing combinations. The single Atkins, in which seven seconds she ended that fight. She landed four of seven damage in the past. It's happened. That seven second fight, her fans still talk about. It. Well, you asked Tsunami. The Kome event, as Jojo Diaz, we think of Javier Fortuna, as right now she's being scored, but right now, Estrada. Urgent earlier, some of these rounds, a couple of these rounds at least, are very difficult rounds to score. Generally, one punch. Try to balance that in the scorecard. Interesting, too, here, Serge. So that. Up right now. Right now, coming to you from the Bank of California Stadium, Los Angeles, California. Estrada there with a flurry as she goes to he's focused on trying to land that straight right. Crack at the old goal early on. So now I'm finally getting that chance. And Tsunami is one of those old girls. CompuBox numbers and the power punches for Tsunami. Tsunami throwing a lot, but only able to connect. We love to see this in women's boxing in, in the lighter division, just digging down. Just to have multiple titles, and that's why she's looking to have a strong showing here tonight. Now, it really is effectively priced themselves out. Eddie Hearn had this problem with Katie Taylor. Amanda Serrano, Katie Taylor, to some degree, is like a lottery ticket. Couple of rights there from Estradas. Now she's coming. Oh. Here at the women's division. She even said at one point, the fighter news we had, she's got more to chance. Estrada may have opportunities last couple of rounds. Rounds, so potentially only a two and a half left. This guy should now be in the mix for the best female pound for pound. And she says Estrada and Tsunami. They appreciate Estrada and what she brings to the table. I think she's got the ability in some of the first few rounds of one. Tsunami needs a big finish right now. A minute ten, just left. Tsunami trying valiantly right now. Look at the combination, almost a clinch. Ten seconds left in this one. Estrada and Su Consistent support for Sunisa Estrada. In terms of Tsunami, listen, she's facing super bad. In her mind, she's probably the.